So today, I really wanted to talk to you guys about DMZ, right? DMZ and Call of Duty seems like it is going to be the savior of Call of Duty. Now, historically, right, historically, Call of Duty typically likes to sleep on things like this because, you know, that's just Call of Duty fashion, okay? I think DMZ is going to be the thing that saves Call of Duty if they decide to run with it and they decide to actually create good things with it. Now, granted, I have not been playing DMZ that often. I actually wanted to maybe start playing it again, but then that would kind of go against what I was saying a past few podcasts, past few videos, past few shorts about me deleting everything off of my Xbox that was, you know, Call of Duty related because of all the different issues that it's been having. I don't know if those issues have been solved. I'll do a little bit more, more research, and I'll probably do, like, a community post about it to let you guys know if it's actually safe to play again. Um... But I did want to play DMZ because I felt like it was something that I might actually enjoy with my time and getting maybe a friend or two or even a couple of different content creators to play it with me might actually be a good idea. Um, I've been doing a little bit of research on it, kind of like watching Stone Mountain 64 and maybe even a couple of, all of other, you know, just random YouTubers make videos on it. Um, and from what I've seen so far... The bots probably have to be a little bit more powerful, maybe a little bit better. Maybe they may have nerfed them since the last time I played them. So it looks like they may have. They aren't as powerful anymore, which I guess is a good thing. Um, but I think D DMZ should be more focused on a PvE experience versus a PvP. So the PvP should be the secondary experience versus the PvE. So kind of like if you've, if you've ever played uh, Tom Clancy's the, the Division and the Division 2, that's kind of what I mean about... Uh, a PvE game versus a PvP game. So typically in the traditional sense, it would be more centered around you have to face bots to get things instead of having to face players. But I think Call of Duty fashion, they don't want to follow that that kind of memo. What they want to do is they want to make it more of a PvP experience, which isn't the best experience like ever because, again, there's cheaters, there's people that are just assholes and whatever else. So... At the end of the day, I'm thinking that if they really do try to focus D DMZ and make it... Because, again, Warzone is the real, like, PvP game mode, right? So is even, even Plunder is, too, and Rebirth and whatever. They have enough PvP games, so they don't need to make another one. They don't need DMZ to be a PvP game, because they already have that. P D DMZ should, 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 should have been more, or should be more, um, focused on, essentially the pve experience with like just a sprinkle of pvp which can make the gaming experience a lot more just a lot better in general like and the, you know D dmz could also be they can also add zombies and they could do so many different things they can add zombies they could add a more like a more sneak kind of el element to it i think they kind of want you to be a little more sneaky especially against the bots uh, give it like more of like a Far Cry feel. If you've ever played Far Cry, you know, three, four, five, whatever, they're all kind of the same where you just have to sneak it. You don't have to, you could go in guns blazing or you could, you know, sneak, sneak, sneak in, snipe people, knife people, whatever else. Um, I think personally that it's better. It's better that they do DMZ as a PVE experience versus a PVP. Because again, they, they have all those things. They have the PVP, you know, they have multiplayer, they have DMs or they have, uh, they have multiplayer, they have war zone. They have, um, they have, uh, the rebirth and they have the, what, what, what did I say before? Uh, plunder. So they have all these game modes. DMZ does not need to be a, P a PVP experience. So, Personally, I think uh, the people at Activision, Call of Duty, they need to just they, they they need to focus more on a PVE experience with just a sprinkle of PVP because that will make the game a little bit more enjoyable, not only for casual people, but I think it, it it'll bring in more money and it also bring bring in more pe pe people to 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 play the game. So that's just my opinion. You may disagree with it, and that's okay. You have your opinion, I have mine. But in per from personal experience or from the lifetime that i've been playing this you know call of duty i think that D dmz is really going to be the thing that's going to save them as far as not just player count but just a overall experience because again they're always focused on a pvp experience which is just, is not a good experience for everybody you know not only because of the hackers but it's just because of just it's because of in general like a general how ass People are assholes, okay? I'm sorry to say it. Like, not everyone that's watching this, you're not always, you're not all an asshole. But at the end of the day, people are assholes. They they do things 
to treat you like shit. Like there are people that you know they'll abuse the metas, they'll abuse you know the how good and like an RPG is. They'll they'll abuse how you know how how um. You know how how let's say how good cars are, or how good a mounted machine gun is on on a car. Or there's there was that sentry gun glitch that people were doing in in the first war zone, where they were they were mounting it on like the back of a truck and like facing outwards, and they would just like drive around and the sentry gun and just shit on people. You know, like that that like people do that shit. So it's like that's the experience that you don't want people to have if they're if you're gonna have pe- people playing your 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 game. Like, but I mean also the fact that you know Call of Duty is unsafe to play. We also we went over that and a couple different different stuff as as I said and I'll do some research but you know um, I just don't I don't think that it's a good idea to keep people in si- si- pretty much siloed it, it, keeping people si- yeah keeping people siloed is a it's just a bad experience in general like you don't want to have people be just have have to just follow this one path at all times. And just watching this this gameplay from Stone Mountain, like this game this game mode would be so much more fun with with more people with like three three four friends or whatever, you know what I mean? Um, the the fact that like you can face you know bots and you can also face you know other players is good, but it's it's it has to be more of a sprinkle than just like a vomit because that's what they do they vomit P- PVP all over us and i'm and i'm so over it like i zombies was the only escape from 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 that where where you still had kind of a pvp but like you don't you didn't have to rely on your teammates so 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 much you kind of still do they kind of did vomit it if you've ever played zombies like if there's if you're the only one opening doors it's a pain in the ass you know what i mean if you're the only one opening doors it's a pain in the ass but if there's everyone's kind of opening a door or two, like you're, you're, you'll get to your objective faster. So there is still a little bit of vomit there that you kind of have to rely on your teammates or, you know, yeah. In like a PVP sense, but you're not really facing players. You're, you're, you're facing, you know, uh, AI zo- zombies. So, you know, at the end of the day, I don't think that it's a bad thing to have PVP, but it's just like call of duty is just so accustomed to just vomiting P- PVP all over their players that just gets really stressful and unmanageable and just not fun to play. That's just something to keep in mind whenever you're playing these games, because I think DMZ can actually save call of duty for everyone. Like I, I think that the war zone, the, you know, the rebirth, the plunder, those should all be separate and just all be PVP. And then they take DMZ and make it its own thing. So kind of like, you remember how in Warzone they had zombies, they had the zombie royale, they had the armored royale. They should have that in DMZ, where they have like things happen to to, to the map, like z- nukes go off, zombies start spawning. Um, there's juggernaut suits spread throughout the map, like stuff like that. You know what I mean? <coughs> where it's it's an actual like war zone. You know what I mean? Like you you actually feel like you're in a war zone with different factions, with different environmental risks. Like, so it's more of like, f- it's more focused on the actual gameplay from the map itself or from the D the DMZ, which to me, D- DMZ, I don't know what DMZ means, but if I'm being honest, but if D, if I had to think of DMZ, it's pretty, it's pretty much just like, you know, they, you're, you're being dropped into an, into a location where it has to be like taken over or whatever, or it has to be, you know, uh, what's the word liberated, extracted, like something along those lines. And, um, D I, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I feel like D, DMZ should, should be more of an experience where like you're getting wet, you're getting the weapon crates and bringing them back to, to, you know, the chopper, or, like extracting the weapon crates so that you don't have to leave yet. And you, and then the chopper leaves with, you know, with your supplies or whatever, kind of like what they do in, um, in, uh, the, the division in, in the division two. Um, but it, you know, it, but essentially w- what I'm saying with, with, with that whole thing is, is like, it's more focused on the map itself instead of the player versus player experience, which again, they're always vomiting on us. So having a PVE experience, that's actually a PVE experience where maybe even like the, the map becomes di- di- dynamic in some ways, you, 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 you know, there's fog, you can knock down, you know, the buildings get knocked down. Then there's, then there's the concrete dust, which causes fog, like stuff like that. Like that might be something where they might actually 
like excel as far as giving us a better experience, a better overall game, gaming experience, instead of just vomiting PvP shit at us and then be like, oh, you can buy this skin for whatever, or you can buy this overpowered variant right now for, you know, like, that actually means that they're putting time into the game versus them just trying to get, you know, try, try, trying to get mo mo money from us or just play time, you know, because it's like, they, the real reason, I think the real reason originally for when they were doing the DMZ was to essentially, you know, get, give us um, an experience where we were, I don't know, try, just trying to like get weapon skins. Like that, they, they, there probably was such a low player count in DMZ that like when the, when the game first came, came out. And then they were like, oh, you can get the ACR thing. Oh, they're telling like, you know, these bigger street streamers being like, oh, you can get the ACR variant or you can get the SCAR variant or you can get like, they were doing that to get people to play it, but they weren't actually playing the fucking thing to actually play it and experience D DMZ. They were just playing it to get those stupid we weapon variants. So think about it as them like just pushing something that nobody wants in their face. Like, it's just like, it's that, it's that promotional product that nobody wanted to actually touch. But because they, they gave you a value prop to play it, you're just going after that thing. You're not actually playing the game mode to play the game mode. It's kind of like Plunder. Like, 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 like if, if they put a weapon variant in Plunder from like Modern Warfare the first one or like Modern Warfare 2 the first, it's like people would go after that variant, the M60 or whatever, let's say, and they would, go, they would play Plunder just to get the M60. They wouldn't play Plunder to like win and get the most cash and beat the most people like... They would just play it to get the fucking M60. So, to me, it just makes no sense why they do those things. And then they wonder why their their numbers are dwindling. It's like, guys, come on. You know? But I do have high hopes for DMZ. Like, from what I've been watching, like, I, I want to play it. I want to test it out, especially with, like, a buddy or two. I may even get a average on and we'll, like, stream it or something together. Or we'll, we'll play it together and see what it's like. But... I think honestly, DMZ is going to be a good experience, especially if they actually try to work on it and give and give the player a good, a better experience in general. I mean, I can't, I can't think of any reason why it wouldn't be. At the end of the day, I mean, you know, it is Call of Duty, granted, but if they work on it like they're supposed to, DMZ might be the next Warzone, like when it first came out. To to be honest, so if anyone from Activision is listening. This is your chance. Make it in. Make it into Warzone One. It's not don't make it into Warzone One, but like make it as as hyped and as popular as, as Warzone One was because you actually put some fucking time and effort into it. You know what I mean? There's so many. There's you know I'm gonna be honest. There is so many applications for for DMZ. That like I'm naming zombies is one of them. Like they could again they could create like, kind of like how um what the hell was it called? Blackout. Kind of how Blackout was. Blackout what had had its own like sections in the in the map where like there was zombies, there was monkey bombs, there was uh you know Nuketown, there was you know I mean Nuketown's overused as well, but um that that was obviously the Black Ops franchise, but like do the Modern Warfare franchise make some make Rust in one area, make you know make Rust be like you know the the um like the one v one area for you know bots or something and then it's like everybody attacks you if you go over there or you know um have the dmz like you know quarantine zone where like there's all sick people and then there's zombies there too you know it's like and if you get you know if you get bit or something then you turn into a zombie and you have to play the game as a zombie though know, the rest of the time is a zombie or something like that like make it like make it fun make it interesting you know G give the give the players some kind of dynamic instead of just dropping them into a place be like all right shoot this and go and go get this crate like no like that's so boring it's the same shit you guys been doing for the past, what, 15 years plus? Switch it up a little bit. You know, like, make it more fun. Make it more interactive. Like, Zombies was the most creative thing that, that, um, I want Activision, not, not even Treyarch or, or fucking Sludgehammer or whatever, or now it's Infinity Ward, but even, you know, like, it was literally, no, actually, it was, it, it was actually the opposite. Sludge, Sludgehammer's the new one, and Infinity Ward was, was the old one. Anyway, um, you know, they like zo zombies was the most in inventive thing that Activision has ever done, that Call of Duty has ever done, and I know people probably won't agree with that, but that was the only thing. Zombies was the only thing that was actually creative, like especially with all the Easter eggs, with all the different guns, with all the different like special weapons, with all the uh, the one the wonder weapons. Like that was the most creative thing that Call of Duty has done, like their entire time being on this being on this planet. 
Like this, this, this establishment of Call of Duty and Activision. That's the most creative thing that they've done. Let's be honest here. Like, tell me I'm wrong. Re- really, though, tell me I'm wrong. Because when I when I look back at all the Call of Duties, like, yeah, they put some jet, they put some jetpacks in there. You know, they did some like weapon crates and whatever else, which is pretty much just like a this like microtransactions, right? What what, what else did did they do? They they did Infinite Warfare where it's in space. Like that's really it. That's all they really did. They put some jetpacks in, and they put some and they put some rockets, and they put you in space. That was it. I I I personally think that zombies was the most inventive out of that entire thing. And out of all the stuff I just named, that was the most inventive thing. Because it started out being like a fun project that just ended up turning into a whole franchise. Like, they could literally make a Zombies game right now out of all the storylines that they've made. And and it would and would they, they would all somehow merge together in the end. So to me, it just makes sense that they would just do that. And instead, instead of, in like, in, like, they could charge probably whatever the hell they, they, they want to charge for a game like, like that. Because it's worth it. Like, the Zombies franchise has its own storyline. Multiple storylines that all somehow kind of come together. So it's like if they were to just do that, they could charge a hundred. They could charge a hundred dollars and put like a zombie action figure in there, and people would fucking buy it. But instead, they're sleeping on that for some odd reason. Maybe maybe they're gonna come out with it in the future. I don't know, but it's like I feel like after like Cold War zombies, not not even after Black Ops Three zombies or Black Ops Four, there was like no other storylines related. So it's like, why? I mean, I'm like. It doesn't matter. Who cares? Like, why wouldn't they just make a game that was just zombies just off of those storylines? They could go into Cold War or whatever else, but Cold War is, like, more of customized characters. Like, there was no set characters. So, you get to to have your own custom characters, which would actually kind of be good because they could make their own... You could make your own custom character that would somehow fit into this universe of, like, trying to find Richtofen or trying to find Nikolai or whatever. Like, you know what I mean? They could do that shit. They could do that. They could physically do that. And have you like stop off at like Mob of the Dead or stop off at, you know, uh, the guy with the George Carlton. What the hell's the guy's name? The guy, the director guy with all the horror movies, the guy with the white hair, you know, the guy that was big and zombie in the, in the fucking lighthouse one. I forgot the hell that, that, that one that was. Was it, was it Call of the Dead? I think it was Call of the Dead. So something like that. So my, my point though is like, I mean, that's honestly true. At least I think it is. I mean, zo- Zombies has been an impact on Call of Duty. I mean, it's, it's definitely gained a lot more fans. But, like, th- then they then they pull some shit making, like, something like Vanguard Zombies. And you're like, what the hell are you guys doing? Just make it just make it a separate goddamn game. But that's what I'm saying, though. Like, DMZ is that, like, golden egg that they probably can use to, to their advantage. But they're sleeping on it. They'll probably just make a DMZ 2 and a DMZ 3 and a DMZ 4 and just, just fucking ruin it. Instead of, like, making it into, a, into its own game. Or, again, utilizing it to its full potential. Which is, again, my analogy between zo- zombies and this. It, you know, they they, they, they they definitely, they innovated zombies, obviously. But I feel like that they're just going to do the same thing. Where they're just, they're just going to, they're going to re-innovate this. They're just going to keep reinventing the wheel. DMZ, DMZ 2, D- DMZ 3.0, DMZ 4.7. Like, they're just going to do that shit. It's just, it's not going to be good. So, at the end of the day, it's like Call of Duty is the only thing that could kill itself because they just don't know what the fuck they're they're doing, and they're they're just what they're doing. I feel like in these like in these corporate meetings, they're just they're just flipping a fucking coin. And they're just like, oh, all right, well, it looks like D, 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 DMZ is just gonna have weapon variants. It's like what the fuck? It's like make this into its own thing, like make this into not again, not not not, not even into a separate game, but like make it into something that actually matters to players. Let me make it into something where like it actually gives you some kind of di- dynamic. Again, they could make it into a separate game. They could they could, they could make it into uh, D- D- DM uh, DM zone or uh, D- DMZ warfare or something like you know what I mean. Like instead of have you know because Warzone pretty much is its own entity at this point, right? Like you, like they they separated Call of Duty, Modern Warfare Two and Modern Warfare Twenty Nineteen from Warzone and Warzone Two. So they are their own games. So why not make like a DMZ game? Like, it's just, to me, it makes no sense. Like, they sleep on stuff like this, but then they'll, they'll like, they'll just do, like, a bunch of skins in Warzone. And I'm like, I mean, again, maybe it's just the money thing. Maybe people are still buying it, but it's like, this is, this is your golden egg right here. Zombies, that's your golden egg. Like, you could charge $150 and do skins in Zombies forever. Just give us new maps and we'll literally buy that shit 
and buy it and buy it and buy it. Like instead of instead of having microtransactions, you can have map transactions now again and go back into making new maps. Like this is this is a billion dollar idea that if anyone from Activision is watching this, they could execute on this and make billions if not trillions of dollars off of what I'm saying. Like I'm going to be honest, I'm one of those people where I would probably just buy the zombie game and cuz like for for a while they were just releasing Black Ops games over and over again. The same things. Oh, and I'm not even talking into the that's cool. That uh, camera just stopped working. Excellent. Is 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 it, is it still working? Interesting. I wonder how long that that was going on for. <laughs> any, any anyway, um I forgot what the hell I was saying now. <laughs> but um yeah, I mean those zombie games, man, I'll tell you something like it, it I'm one of those people that would buy it. Like I would buy the zombie game and then I would just keep adding to it and making it better and better and better. And you could you, like, they could put skins in, they could put weapon skins in, like they could make new shit for it. They, that's something that would make zombies last forever. And they could just keep doing new storylines or different story, li- story, storylines. They could make a movie out of it. Like that would have been the coolest thing ever. And then they could have kept the guy that plays Rick Toff and the guy that plays, you know, Nick Nikolai instead of having having us to say goodbye to all Dempsey and all of them, you know? And Takeo. Or t- is it Takeo? I think it's Takeo. Anyway. Um, that's my point though. It's like they they miss their chance all the time. And it's just like, guys, just do something right for once. Just listen to the community and just do it right. Like the fact that like people were talking about transit being back and like I think it was the other Call of Duty, one of the other Call of Duties for zombies. I think it was like the Cold War zombies. They were saying transit's back. Like you know how many views that transit video got. Like I made a transit vi- video too, and it got like it got like a, over a hundred thousand views. It was like I saw another transit video where the guy like broke down like how transit was gonna be in, in the new zombies, and it's like that got like a fucking million views. Well, a couple other people were doing it. Same thing. TikTok, like 500,000 likes, 600,000 likes. I'm like, they have to be bringing transit in. Nope. It's like, they just don't care. Like, and, and even I, Average and I talked about that on the podcast ep- episode that, you know, was, I think it was 20, 22 or 21. That we, he talked about that. Average talked about that, where it was like, they just like, there was a community group that he was in and they would give them. Like, we want this. And they'd be like, no, nah, what, what what do you want? And it's like, we want that. We just said it. But they're like, no, what, what, do, you re- what do you really want, though? You're like, we don't want more fucking skins. We don't want more skins. We What we want... <laughs> what we want is we want more... Um, You know, we want zombies. We want this. We want that. Like, we want, you, we want you to fix this. We want you to fix that. Like, that's real. Like, that's the shit we want. But then they're like, nah, we're going to do something else. And it's like, why the fuck are we still playing this game? I might try out DMZ. I might download it. Like, as you can see right now, like I, I am probably after the, this podcast episode and maybe even the next one, I have to film two at least. I'm probably going to be playing fucking some Gears of War. I had a glitch on, on this yesterday that really pissed me off and like reset all my shit and I turned it off and everything. It looks like everything's back again. If it's not, I'm probably going to be done play, playing this game for forever. Just saying. Um, but you know, maybe, maybe, maybe that'll be the push I, I need to go, to go back to, to, to go back to call of duty. But um, if it's not safe to play, I probably won't be playing it. And again, all the shit they did to Nick Merckx, all the shit that they did to, you know, try, try to make everything about them. Like, I don't really want to play play their game anymore, but if I enjoy D- DMZ, I might feel it out, feel how it plays, but then probably end up stop playing is they're, they're going to ruin this too. I feel like, but it, I, I mark my words. If they do actually do this, if they make this game, if they make DMZ as good, mark my words, if they make DMZ as good as I think they're going to make it, or they should make it, this will save Call of Duty. This will save Activision. If, it, if they do not capitalize on DMZ, then they're screwed. And that's it. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And if, you, if you've watched it this, this, if you watched it this far, you have to subscribe. So, here we are. <laughs>